Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Crafting Dead. Today we have ourselves a military challenge. We are near the airbase, as you can see in the background, and there's a zombie. Alright, zombie, I see. I have a military combat. Now, I made this kit in the shop, so if you guys want to replicate this kit, you can take a screenshot. I have the army clothing, and I have black, uh, what's it called? A black large backpack and a black technical vest, which, wa with water, a lot of bacon, open tactical bacon that's like a tongue twister medical gear and then i have a scar h and a combat knife if you guys want to replicate this definitely go ahead and let me know what you think about today's kit but don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you're new and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well but today we are going to go towards the air base uh and i'm gonna be going solo and let's go see if there's anyone near me so, all right actually let's do slash near 100 so we have no one nearby in the airbase, which is pretty shocking. So we're going to go in and loot it. Uh, I do see a lot of zombies. And one thing for sure is this place is overrun with zombies. So we're going to try our best here to loot, get to the tower, and secure this place and get as much loot as possible. Technically, we're supposed to defend this airbase. As we are part of the military, that is our job. And this is a zombie apocalypse. So we have tons of people who are trying to loot, raid this place, and whatever they want to do. So it's our duty to pretty much guard this place as much as possible and kind of keep ourselves away from being infected because if anything I'm the last man standing with military here Every, everyone else is pretty much left and abandoned this place it's, it's just me so it's my goal here to try to defend this place I don't see anyone uh, but I also want to loot out any other supplies here that's military personnel so that we can keep for ourselves I don't see one on the tower but I'm gonna do slash near 150 okay there isn't really anyone that close by so, which is good which is a good thing. We need to push in towards that tower. But I also want to loot up if there are any other supplies around here for us. There's tons of zombies too. By the way, uh, I have exciting news for the Crafting Dead roleplay. That is going to be coming sep in September, early September. I know it's September 2nd. But it's going to be uploaded very soon. Uh, we're working on it right now. We have a lot of cool plans. So I'm excited for that. There is a care package. Okay. We have an airdrop. Do we have anything? We do have some stuff for us here. Okay, I'm gonna throw that. Hopefully that's gonna do- Oh! That's not good. I can't see. I can't see. This is bad. Uh, I'm supposed to be pretty ex experienced. Don't worry. Um, now what do we have here? This is- That's just uh, spray paint. We don't really need that. Alright, someone see- Oh, someone definitely looted this place out. There's a dead body over here. Okay, let's check this out real quick. Anything- Oh my gosh. Okay, this body has been complete- It's filled with loot. Someone must have been here. Or they either got overrun by zombies, which is what it looks like. Alright, there's way too many zombies in this area right now. I'm going to eat up some MRE. I'm going to try to make sure there's no one around here. I'm going to do slash near 50. No one is still around. So we are clear to go in and gather us as much supplies as possible. This is insane amount of loot. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw in all the supply in the vault because this is this is a lot of supplies we're gonna go in here hold off make sure no one is nearby okay let's go and put this in a vault three so like i said oh vault three is already built okay vault four do we have a vault four we do not vault two okay so like i said i'm going to be uh making a crafting dead official role play which will be coming soon uh hopefully you guys are excited for that I'm really going to be pushing for it. It's going to be an amazing role play. And like I said, I'm going to be making it uh, s somewhat in like 10 years or 5 years into the zombie apocalypse. And hopefully you guys are excited for that. If you guys are, make sure you go ahead and let me know in the comment sections so I can get your feedback about uh, the return of the Craft and Dead role play. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about that. So we have some raw explosives. We have... Okay, so we don't need anything else. Okay, let's um, let's drink up some water. And let's also fill up our canteen since we drank from this. I believe there's a little bit of water here. I don't know how dirty this is, but hey, water's water. We might as well just drink some of it. Okay. I thought I saw someone. I could be mistaken. Was that a zombie? Yeah, that was a zombie. Okay, zombies seem pretty relaxed and calm right now. I'm going to push in for this tower, but I also want to check out this medical... Oh, no, there's a lot of zombies here. Okay, it's over. The walkers are overrunning this area. I really want to check out the medical base because that is one of the most important things for us right now to try to hold down and fortify because with a zombie apocalypse, there's a lot of people that get infected. So we need to hold this place down 
I know the zombies see me. I know they're. I know. I know they can sense me. But I have a backup plan. I can easily. Oh, whoa! There was one inside. Okay, let's reload. We didn't clear out this whole building. That's that's a mistake. Okay. Oh, whoa! Seems like there's a lot more zombies in here than I thought there were. Let's close this door. Okay, area seems to be secured right now. Any more zombies in here? They're overrunning this military base. Okay, we have some soda. I'll drink up some soda. What else do we have? Magnum ammo. I don't need that. Okay, I don't think there's anyone else. Let's check what's in the shelves here. We have another water canteen. We could definitely use that. We have a Sporter 22. Let's use what? Let's, let me just check out this Charlie loot crate. We have an M9. I'll, I'll, I'll use the M9 for emergencies. I can hear a ton of zombies. So we have our plan B, which is to escape through uh, the back deck. We have a winter helmet. Anything on this? There's nothing in the shelf. Some more ammo. Okay, we'll take more ammo. That's great. Oh, it's empty, though. Actually, no, that is an extra armament clip. Uh, what else is here? We don't need that. Anything stored in the chest? Maybe people must have left it here. No? Everything's empty. Nothing on the shelves here. Open camp peaches. We'll definitely take that. I'm just gonna eat that up real quick. Alright, let's go to the top. I want to scout out and see what we're working with here. Okay, I don't see anyone nearby. I see a lot of zombies around here. We're really overrun by zombies. There are a few bases down there. But I don't see anyone over there. Tons of zombies overrunning this military base. Alright. I'm going to try to go and check out the tower. I, my goal is to get to the tower and try to fortify this place as much as possible. Obviously, that loot is empty. There is the vending machines. Yes, we have a power bar. Okay, we could use that. I know this place is overrun with zombies in the front. So, we're, there's no way we're escaping the front area. So, we're going to have to hopefully get out from the back and cause a distraction. Okay. All right, maybe we can get out from the back here. I have my pistol just in case. I don't want to use my ammo. I want to try to just get out of here without causing any zombies to hear us. Uh, I want to go check out this building and this area back here before we get to the tower. Because I'm not too concerned about the tower right now. But I want to see what's going on back here. If there's anything for us. All right, I don't see anyone. This place seems to be pretty cleared out. What other loot do we have? Dirty rag. Not really going to do anything for us. All right, no one over here. I'm going to do slash near 50 if, to see if there's anyone else nearby. There's still no one nearby. Okay, that's a good sign. That means people must have left. But I noticed a lot of people built bases around here. So, you never know. We got to be a little bit careful. There's a zombie up there on the roof. I don't know if he's going to fall down towards us. Let's see if they will. Oh, they will. Okay, they're going to fall from the roof. Oh, jeez. That was not good. Okay, I'm attracting way too many zombies. I should have used my knife. This actually could be really bad for us. We should probably... Alright, we're going to go through the inside. Oh, jeez. A lot of zombie heads here. Okay, anything else? Canned beans. I don't need rotten food. Anything? Open canned pickles? I don't know if that's any good after a while. It's... I mean, we'll see. I mean, when you're hungry, anything's good, I guess. What do we have here? There's a waiting room. Rusty pipe. Don't need that. Don't need it. Okay. Oh, fuel backpack. Okay, do we have... I think I have a flamethrower and we have a backpack. Do we have any fuel? I don't think we have any fuel. I do not see any fuel. Okay. So, we're not going to use that right now. We could have used it, but we don't have any fuel. There's a cafe. Bag of coffee beans. I don't need that right now. Take the water bottle. You never know when we're going to need that. $4 for coffee? Must be some good coffee they were selling here at one point. Jeez. Oh, no. We're overrun by the front entrance. Okay, we're going to have to go through the glass and run to the tower. All right, I want to go check out this tower. I want to fortify it, and hopefully we can hold it down. I don't see anyone nearby right now, which is a good thing. But if we do run into anyone, I don't want to go and kill them right away. I want to try to kind of lure them in into being part of our military, which would be kind of nice to re-fortify re this military base. Um, no one here. Some more loot. We'll take some apple. We'll take some soda. Even though it's not the best for us, we'll take it. Anything else? Nothing. Okay. Let's go back to the rooftop and see if we can scout anyone out. If we, if we don't see anyone, we successfully 
have taken back the uh, the airbase. So our mission was a success, and at that point, what we might do is we might go and try to find a different area. As you can tell, we're really getting a lot of supplies here. This is really good. Okay, is there anyone up top? Okay, let's go back to the top. Some soda. I'll drink the soda. All right, I don't see anyone. I think we successfully cleared out this whole military air base. So we technically are in charge of this base. That is fantastic. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go look for one more area before we end off today's episode. Um, and then we're going to see if we run into any other people. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, everyone. So we're actually back at my base. Uh, I figured I wanted to do one thing because I noticed this, that someone actually built right across our bridge here. I wanted to check this out to see who the heck is our new neighbor and why are they blocking our bridge here. Uh, this is our one way of access right across. So if this person is active, we we don't know who they are. I don't know if it says their name, if we can open up their uh, table here. It doesn't say who they are, but uh, pretty interesting that they were able to build right across the bridge. Because if they fortify this off, they pretty much have us locked in here. There's no other way around besides trying to go far down and, and swim across the water. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see who this is. If you're watching this video, let me know if this is your base. And if we, if it is your base, maybe we can spread an alliance. Because obviously my base is nearby and I do not want to cause any uh, have any enemies nearby. So, we're going to go to this gas station. Uh, we're going to check it out. And uh, then we're going to end off today's episode there are a few more zombies here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clear out this area. There we go. Perfect. All right. Zombies down. Okay. We attracted way too many zombies with that. All right. You know what? I should keep using my melee weapon. I just have a bad habit. Ooh. Someone has a base up there. That's also a very new looking base. All right. So we have some new people nearby. It's kind of interesting to see that. That's actually not a bad thing. I'm I'm happy to see that there's new faces around here and maybe we can uh, spark some new alliances. If not, maybe we have some enemies that we have to fight and battle and potentially take over. So there's a lot for us to come. So we're going to loot up this place, get some more food for our base, um, and then we're going to end off today's episode. If you have any other challenges that you want to see, let me know in the comment sections, and I'd be happy to go ahead and try them in the next episode. I'm going to be trying to upload the Crafting Dead uh, at least twice a week. Um, so, you know, like I said, let me know your challenges. And, hey, maybe I'll upload a few more videos as well, not just twice a week. We have a lot of people joining in right now who are new. So, shout out to all of you who are well joining the Crafting Dead service for the first time. Okay, all these are empty. Okay. Anything in the trash? Nothing. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get rid of that empty drink there. Let's go ahead. Wait. I thought it was a full empty. Uh, I thought it was a full soda. I guess I was wrong. Okay. I guess I was wrong. All right. Let's go. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick around this place. I want to go maybe check out this final base and see who the heck this base is and how it looks. How fortified it is. So we know if we have any potential allies or enemies in the near future. And yeah, and then we're going to end off today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, the military challenge. I was hoping that we'd find some more people to fight us, but it's not a big deal. We achieved our challenge. We didn't die. And uh, we, we pretty much held off the military base. The air, the air base was secured because of us. So that's really good. All right, this is cool. This is a cool base. I don't know whose it is, but there's a lot of people. And this is also fairly new. This is another broken down aircraft. And we have people's bases around here. I'm going to do slash near 20. Okay, there's no one home. We might have to eventually uh, see if these people are bad people or good people. We have a bandage. We have a door. Let's go inside the airplane. Oh, wow. I've actually never been inside here. No loot. No one's been storing anything here. Let's see if the pilot has anything useful for us. <laughs> Bunny ears. That's kind of not anything near useful. Let's go and see if there's anything back here. No. Seems like nothing back here. This is probably where the toilet is. At least they have light, which is kind of interesting. The generators or something must still be working on this aircraft, which is very shocking. Uh, I was not expecting anything to be working at all. But there's a lot of military loot around here. FNFAL, we'll take that. Sporter, we don't need a sporter. Great tactical vest. M1 Grand. I thought that was a person for a second, but I got uh, confused. It's not a person. So we are good. Okay. Wow. A lot of cool stuff here. This is good to know for the future when it comes to get getting loot. 
it's all we have to do is come up here and get some really great military loot. So that's sporter ammo. Okay. Machete. I'll take a machete. Cool. All right. This base, although, looks pretty uh, beat up. A lot of zombies spawn here. I don't know. Actually, let's take a look. I mean, I don't really know if there's anyone still living in this base. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what to think of it. But, uh... It's definitely still packed in there. There's definitely there's definitely a lot of things in here. I also want to, in the future, potentially do um, kind of a King of the Hill right over here. So, potentially, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment sections. And uh, that could be something that may happen in the future. But we're going to end off today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. I really enjoyed today's military challenge. Um, and hopefully, you guys did too as well. Let's drink up some water as well in the meantime. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Craft and Dead. I will be uploading a tutorial so you guys all know how to download the Craft and Dead mod pack. And check this server out for yourselves. Make sure you check out the Discord server as well. And stay tuned for the Craft and Dead roleplay. Other than that, guys, my name is Alex. And peace out and stay foxy.